you got Dylan here on another Patreon request music reaction video. Tonight's Patreon request comes to me from Kip Staley, who asked me to react to, I think this is how you say it, Pat Travers. I think that's it. Or Travers. Anyways, uh, Pat Travers and his song, Just Enough Money. This is the first track off of his 1995 album, Halfway to Somewhere. Patrick Henry Travers is a Canadian rock guitarist, singer, and songwriter. He actually has quite the resume in music, getting his start in London by signing to a record label in his early 20s. He saw a rise to popularity in the mid to late 70s, touring with his eponymous band, which included supporting the Canadian Canadian rock band Rush during their tour. In the 1980s, their song Snortin' Whiskey <laughs> what? <laughs> was a major American hit off the album Crash and Burn from 1980. I don't know what's going on with Kip here. We were on a blues agenda um, up till now because it seems that Pat is more rock oriented. I could be wrong. I, I have no idea. I've never heard of him before. Maybe there's a method to Kip's madness. I don't know, but I'm gonna go ahead and see what this is about, which by the way, it's audio only. So here we go again with me being awkward because I will have nowhere to look, nothing. To, well, I mean, I have a little bit more to look at because I'm indoors. It's gonna be awkward just to let you guys know. <laughs> so with that, I'll be reacting to Pat Travers. <sighs> I think that's it. And his song, Just Enough Money. <laughs>
that was some guitar there. I just have to say this real quick before I forget. By the way, that was some kick-ass guitar. I, I, if you watch me enough, you know I love guitars. I love guitar players. Man, woman, love it. You know, I just infatuated with that instrument and anyone who has mastered it i'm jealous of you <laughs> but i love you before i forget <laughs> is there anyone else who heard this and thought that this pat sounds like james hetfield from metallica <laughs> especially at the beginning i swear he sounded just like him I, I could i could have you know bumped my head at some point today i don't know but it sounded like james hetfield I'm sticking to that. So the song mentions, well, at first I thought he said just enough money to buy a case of beer, which I was just like, that sounds bluesy. That actually sounds like real life to me. Um, I have no lyrics in front of me, by the way. I never ever do. But the more I heard the chorus, I, I found out he was saying I, I have just enough money to buy a case of the blues, which took it even more down that bluesy road which now i'm like well i guess kip did this on purpose my source usually it's wikipedia whenever i look things up um the article was pretty hefty i i glanced over it and took out just you know points that i thought were important to mention um at the beginning of my video nothing was specific about this song actually i couldn't find specifics about this whole album halfway to somewhere I, I swear and i kept looking for it because it's one of those situations where i was glancing at things quickly as i was writing things down so i lost the words where i'm pretty sure it said he had went in a blues direction i might be wrong I, I can't remember actually i feel like i read that he had changed from rock and this was just like for an album i don't think it was you know his whole time uh being in in entertainment i don't think he changed fully from one genre to a different one i feel like it was for an album i feel like i read that he had changed uh from rock to i, I don't want to say pop <laughs> but it was more more mainstream, I, I want to say, is what he got into. I don't remember how that turned out for him. I don't remember seeing blues anywhere, so I'm a little shocked. And, you know, listening to this, I was able to, you know, I could see it being bluesy to to a degree. It That killer guitar changed everything, though. The, the, the guitar just made it metal. <laughs> that's just my opinion which i liked it anyways I, it's amazing that sounded so good i just wish that i wish that there was a video for it so i would have been able to see him play all in all outside of him sounding like james hetfield because i i just could not get that out of my head i'm sorry i just he had a great voice don't get me wrong i just kept <laughs> outside of that i liked the song and um you know, Kip hasn't steered me in the wrong direction yet, though I was I was questioning him a little bit. I I had a little questions for you on this one, but but you know I I stand corrected. I I, I feel that you know we didn't stray too far from the blues agenda, so we're we're good. We're good. <laughs> you are the teacher. <laughs> Thank you for suggesting this uh, epic song. It was really cool. I I just. Would love to see the guy play this. <laughs> I might, I might search it out. Believe me, I might. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please leave me a like. And if you're new to my channel, I hope there's something on here that will make you want to subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me on this Patreon request reaction video. And I can't wait to see you in the next one.